Well then, let's continue with this run. We have a lot of animuses of will duplicated in this run, and also a champion that gives all of them, well, on the same floor at least, quick. So they can actually kill stuff pretty quickly normally. Though currently we're also applying rooted to all of the enemies on that floor, and that might be a bit bad because uh, they cannot move out and we might not be able to kill them quickly enough. Oh well. And um, yeah, the rest is just we do have some consume synergy. We have a lot of consume cards and we can heal by using them, so that's relevant. And all of the units are pretty much free at this point, so that is also good. So, left is gold, artifacts that I could buy, and uh, card removal. Right is artifact for free, duplicate, caverns, and then temple. Oh, that's, that's interesting, actually. If I can... Um, Sacrifice something, like sacrifice this first of kin, right? For example, on my Animus. On this one, for example. Then uh, I might just duplicate it again. I'll just get rid of those weaker Animuses at some point, whatever. And then, like, um, if I get duplicated, Animus of Will, that grows stronger with each consume card. If I can get two of them on the same floor... That is actually quite decent, potentially, so maybe... Maybe that's worth it. Also, mm, here's the idea. So, the artifacts... I can go and buy some of them, yes, but... I will probably be able to buy some of them anyway, just later. And do I really need to do it right now? Like, I can just do it, like, on uh, some maybe Ring 8? I assume I'll have an opportunity for it. So, do I really need to do it? Because I will not really have enough gold to do all of that anyway. And uh, if I can only do it once, I might as well just do it later and get some free stuff right now. That is also relevant, like duplicates and stuff like that. I'll go right. Long story short. So, what about the temple? Piercing, minus two cost, and sacrifice. Gotcha. What about artifact? Pyre wall. Your pyre starts each battle with armor 15. Pretty much irrelevant because of my lenses. I have a lot of healing, so whatever. And infused mallet. 25% chance to deal 5 damage when an enemy unit enters your train. That is uh, not good, <laughs> but I'll take it. I, I don't really want armor. Maybe, maybe I should have gone armor, honestly. Because I don't know. This seems completely irrelevant at this point. Then uh, let's go for the caverns, actually. The historian makes his way towards the train in his unusual carriage. Hellborn, how fortunate am I that our travels have finally crossed paths. I am recording the events of Armageddon for posterity. Possibly, possibly futile, I know, but I shall make a fortune if you do somehow succeed. So would you characterize yourself as honest, aggressive, or stealthy? What? Honest. X cost. Once played, this card is removed from your deck for the rest of the run. And you gain 40 times gold, 40 times mana spent gold. Once. Okay. I see. Aggressive. Heaven's gold. Your pyre gets plus one damage. Plus one attack for every 10 gold you have. Or stealthy. A card, one mana, deal two damage to an enemy unit and slay. So triggers after dealing killing blow. So if you kill stuff with it, you get gold. Here's the thing. On this ring, I'm not really even spending gold. There is nothing to spend it on. So what's the point of me getting more gold right now? I don't see any, so I think it's aggressive this time. Okay, that's actually very decent. I can heal my pyre, so that is uh, pretty good, actually. Getting more attack on it. Also synergizes well with my uh, polyclaw, right? I can ascend something to the top floor and then uh, just kill it with my high attack values. Oh yes, the fabled fighting spirit of the Hellborn. I would expect nothing less. Your account shall make for wonderful reading. 
Here is something for your assistance. Best of luck to you in the battles ahead. Okay. Well then. Uh, before we duplicate. So. Let's get some, I guess, some uh, magic power and piercing. This thing already has piercing. So just one of my echo breaks. Just for piercing pretty much. Might as well. Minus two cost. Ooh. On polyclaw. Okay. I can replay it potentially with uh, broken memories later. So that is decent. I like it. And uh, sacrifice... So I can sacrifice first of kin. Just to get H. I think there are two choices there. Two primary choices. First is that I do sacrifice uh, first of kin. Onto my Animus, on this one specifically, I think. This one doesn't have any sacrifices on it yet. So, do this. And then I can just duplicate it. And potentially buff it a lot. I'll just need to survive this fight right now. And after that, I will be able to play both of them on the same floor. And just play all of the consume cards there. And this will be the main mechanism for getting, like, more... Well, damage in, pretty much. Or, I can instead duplicate something else. Like some spell, for example, right? For example, I could duplicate the... Um, uh, some buffing stuff. Like, for example, Echo Infusion. That is another option. I think I will go for with uh, duplicate on my enemies, though. Sounds fun. So let's do that. So I'm sacrificing the first of Ken. I'm uh, getting it on my Animus of Will. And, well... Let's see if it makes it strong enough. So, I will duplicate it, I think. Well, yeah. This is also, like, decent, I guess, but... The idea would be to get my first of kin buff on two of those creatures that will uh, be next to each other on some on one floor after this boss fight I'll be able to increase my floor capacity enough to make that happen so yeah I don't know if it's a good idea maybe maybe not it depends like on how desperate I am to survive this fight in particular I think I am comfortable enough I don't know I'll, I'll do that anyway let's just see how it goes so that's it for this floor let's go Sin of Darkness, so we'll summon B Blinding Dark Shard and Looming Dark Shard, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes, let's just, let's just go. Yeah. Okay, so they can't really attack me, and Blinding Dark Shard... I see, so when I play units, it applies Dazed 1 to them. Well... If I just play some sort of uh, Animus of Will, for example. And then play my Wildenton. Then he will be only dazed for one turn. Next turn he will be able to go. But this turn, yeah, we can't really do much about those uh, enemies. Get some Steel Enhancer. I'll just ignore this Animus, probably. Can just play it. And just hope it dies. <laughs> it will not die immediately, though. Just skip it for now. Whatever. So, some buffs. Polyclaw. I can just polyclaw this thing, right? What is this? Looming Dark Shard. Apply plus one mana to spell in hand. Triggers when you play a spell on this floor. Okay, okay. So I can play only three spells then, right? This will be 0, this will be 1, this will be 2. Well, uh, I do want to play Awoken Hollow. Then I guess I'll just play Root Seeds on that. And then, well, let's uh, Root Seeds. More Root Seeds. And then Pully Claw the tank. Man, 82. 82 pyre attack power. Wow. Okay. We'll just get rid of that. Kill it.
more dazed if I play anything on this floor. I probably will. Probably will. Can get more region. I think... Um, There's actually a good question where to use this thing. Because, uh... Well, actually, I can uh, play my first of kin animus on this floor now as well. And that actually makes it much better probably to play region on the hollow. Because it will buff it as well. And it will get more value from it. And I, and I still get my 5 attack from it, so... Maybe. You go there. Kill those things. Probably just ignore this animus for now and just do some random echo breaks. Do I want soul crushing guilt? I don't think so. Doesn't really do that much. Saves some HP on my champion, but I don't think it's a problem really. Something like this. It will survive, but it's not really a problem. Ignore the animus. Soul crushing guilt, probably no. I can play it, but I don't see a point really. Okay. Well. Uh. Root seeds. Restoration detonation, I suppose. Can kill one of those things with proclamation, yes. And then just buff. Get some health. And skip. So what do we have? Consume apply infused. Let's do that once. Then I definitely do want to play this thing. Somewhere at least, yes. Um, get some root seeds. Get some draw. And I also can apply heal. It doesn't really matter much. It's either there. Or it's there just for extra stats on my people. It doesn't really matter that much I guess. I'll be able to heal him most likely anyway, so it's, uh... Let's just do it there for more stats. I don't think health will be a problem. I have a lot of tricks left still, so... Like, that's a lot of stuff that I can do. I'll think of something. Do the echoes. They're all dead, pretty much. Do the echo break. Do the Echo Infusion doubled. Don't really want to play those Animuses, so just Root Seeds then. And that's it, okay. Skip. And that seems to be the last wave. Okay then, so, um, get some more buffs, get the proclamation in, this thing is killed, I will be fully healed, soul crushing guild doesn't really matter, so just do broken memories, well let's full heal, what can I return, region maybe? Okay, maybe I will play region. So next uh, turn is the boss fight. I can just apply region and get some healing. I guess that's relevant, kinda. Okay, I can see that. And that's it for now. I don't really need those two. So yeah, skip. Wait, what? Oh... Oh, he's stealthed. Oh. Oh. Well, that, uh, <laughs> that changes things. Okay. Well, that's uh, unpleasant. 
unpleasant. I will use uh, region though. Actually, actually, maybe it would even be better to region my hollow then. No, it will just do buffs, but this will actually allow me to survive a bit longer. No, I need to do this, I think. It will still die, but at least it will die a bit slower. So it's 10, 9, 8, maybe 7. This is actually, I think, enough to survive for one turn longer, maybe. So he attacks first. No, I attack first because I'm quick. But I skip. So regardless, it doesn't really matter. So he attacks, I heal. It's 65. Then it's 44. Then it's 22. So it's still not enough. Still enhancer uh, doesn't do anything, I think. Wait, there is no point using my root seeds on them then. And still enhancer as well, by the way. So just do it on the second floor then, maybe. O okay. Well, that's unfortunate, actually. That is unfortunate. Oh. We'll be close. We'll be very close. Just do some buffs. So my things will die. Can't really do much about that. Well, and let's see how much damage can I do. Oh, I can use Soul Crushing Guild. Will it even affect it? Well, I need to try it for sure. Okay, it will affect it. That's good. Get some more HP. It's 30 damage though. It doesn't even do anything. Definitely those two things. But it doesn't do anything, that's the issue. Oh, it has regen. No, it does do things then. Okay, this is actually good. Oh, probably not be enough damage. God damn it, okay. Skip. Yeah, that's not enough damage for now. Let's see if I can do more. I actually have enough infused stuff to do another soul crushing guild. Let's see if that and if that is enough. So plus damage might as well just go for someone who is in the back. She gets like more damage from the echoes, and I will use echoes if I play soul crushing guild. But I have to do that. Oh, by the way, still enhancer actually um, brings me to one more to survive for one more turn. So that is relevant. I mean, Soul Crushing Guild has to happen. And it's dead. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> oh my god, that's so close. So close. Man, I didn't expect it to be this close. They are actually rough. If you go to threat level extreme, they are rough. This is not a joke. It's mostly because of stealth. I just wasn't like... I wasn't aware of the stealth mechanic. Well, I wasn't aware of that being that severe, you know? And also MVP is definitely the soul crushing guild. <laughs> that is MVP for this fight for sure. God damn. Okay then. Echoes of the past. Apply plus six attack per echo. Clear echoes. Yes. Yes. There is also channel song. So consume, draw a unit, and apply plus 20 plus 20 and zero mana. This is also good because I have a lot of uh, animuses. And like, if any of them gets drawn and uh, plus 20 plus 20 is applied, that is very relevant. But this is just so much damage, potentially. I need to take this, I think. Just too much damage. And the whole point was to get the capacity. This is the whole point. I need to take it, so... Yeah. If I took the first one, then the second one definitely needs to be taken as well. Left. Healing. Caverns. Magic. No. Right. Removal. Relevant. Forge units. Relevant. Gold, not very relevant, but the rest is really good, so right for sure. Then I think, first of all, we see the champion. Multi-strike, 
or or nothing, just more stats. You know, oh, actually, <laughs> actually, this is a tough choice because uh, no, uh, you know, this is this might be surprising, but I think the right uh, right choice is better because um, as you can see from this fight, I need a tank. And I cannot really buff the HP on my champion that easily. And the thing is, it also gets buffed more, so I get 20 more HP, right? But it's actually 30, because I have an artifact for plus 50% max health when the champion is played. And that is very relevant. And multi-strike is not like... it's not that relevant, because things that can die from one attack, they, all, they are already dying. Because I'll do 35 damage. So they will be already dead anyway. I don't really need multi-strike. And in terms of just pure DPS against a single target. I have train... I have uh, Animus of Wills. Like, why would I even want, like, more multi-strike on my champion? I think this is much better, actually. Which is uh, not... Not obvious, but I think that's the case. So, next, let's get an artifact. The first time each battle... A card, a card with consume is played at two copies of it to the hand. So, any card. But it will probably be some like echo break or something, right? Most likely. Or like bounding echoes or something. I don't know about that. Apply rooted to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room. No, no, I don't think so. Uh, or winged steel. When you play your third card of the turn, draw one. So basically draw one more, <laughs> that's how I read it, or get two more copies, first time each battle a card is played. It's just, you see, that my problem with that is that it will be just some useless stuff. It will be just some, like, I cannot play my more useful cards, like, I cannot play Wildwood Sap, for example, because I cannot play it as a first, well, I can play it as a first consume card. I can play, like, a uh, creature, because it's not consume card. And then I can play uh, Wildwood Sap onto it, potentially. But yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't think so. I think this is good, though. Just, just draw plus one, pretty much. That's good. That's really good. That's like one more... Uh, this thing. The major enhancement. That is uh, set on uh, more draw. That is relevant. Get gold. Get card removal, but let but first let's do some upgrades. Multi-strike. Definitely multi-strike, I think, on one of my first of kins. Oh, that's so strong. Look at this. Ridiculous. They will have a lot of attack though. As is. I don't really need more. I think multi-strike is better. Yes, I think so. On one of my first of kin, uh, once specifically. And then just get, like, more damage, maybe, on, um... Uh... Well, on this one, I think, yes. Though I would also like to have a quick on it. It will just die if it's not quick enough. Let's just get some damage. I need to get it onto something. But maybe just get it onto, like, random enemies of will, then. Like this. And then get plus 3 per echo on this thing instead. By the way... Wait. Echo... Echo stays until the end of the battle, right? I mean, if I'm... If I'm having a boss battle... Will Echo just stay until the end of it? It will not, like, disappear after the first round of the battle, right? Once the boss battle begins, the boss fight specifically. So this actually might be a lot of damage, potentially. This is good. I think I'll just do this enhancement on another first of kin. And this will be my first floor setup. Those two first of kins and my champion as well. This is the setup. Reroll. Quick. Quick is really good. I think quick on uh, one of my animuses, maybe this one, is relevant. If I use it alongside of my hollow, for example, it can actually clear some stuff. 
I can kill some uh, frontliners, some enemy frontliners with my spells. I have a lot of spells that can just dispatch enemy tanks. And then this thing just clears the... The enemies after that. The weaker enemies. Something, something, yes. I think it's worth the money. Now, health is difficult. <laughs> it's either hollow or it's uh, this one. This thing. It actually doesn't survive that well. As it turns out. So maybe this is good. In fact. Yeah, but the same can be said about the hollow though. Yes, but the same can be said about enemies. It's uh, it's either of them, really. They're both, like, important. But this uh, tank's better. So probably I should just stockpile it on my stronger unit. And this is a stronger unit. So probably this. This is, like, this idea. The... Where is my... This, this thing. This thing. The giant stone thing on Animus of Will turned out to be not that good overall. So... Not that impressed by it. Okay, so what about my setups? I have a uh, champion. I have double first of kin. Then I have this thing, which will go on the floor with a uh, hollow. And ideally, I also use my quick animus there. So those two plus the hollow. And then the... Next floor will just be double animus. Weak one, yeah. Weak ones. And then the stronger animus. That's all of them. I don't even need to remove them. I'll play all of them. So I might as well just buff one of them, really. Like this, for example. Because this thing will die. It's tanking. I would rather stack more HP on it. But this is just... Just get more damage on uh, my other animuses, yeah. I don't really need card removal. <laughs> I'll be able to remove two cards right now. And I'm not even sure what I would remove. I cannot remove, like, Soul Crushing Guild. It's MVP. MVP. I cannot do that. Echoes are pretty good. Echoes are pretty good. And they are consumed anyway, so... Whatever. I, d I don't want to remove anything. Like, most of the stuff that I have is just consumed regardless. You know what I can remove? I can remove Steel Enhancers. Like, I can use them to buff my stuff, but... Do I really care, though? It's not strong enough at this point. Yeah, you know what? I'll just remove them. At this point, it's just not strong enough. The only real reason to play them would be to buff HP... On my, um... Animuses. To get them out of Spike's range. And that's the whole point. I don't think it's good enough. If they were infused, I would definitely use them. But they are not infused. And without infusion, it's just not good. But I don't really need to get rid of anything else. So just continue then. I don't think so. No. Just continue. Okay. So more gold if I agree to get them more damage. Yeah. Let's give them more damage. It's okay. Well. Well then. Champion. Uh, those are garbage animuses. Can't really use them. I can uh, get rid of one of those. In fact... Well, I still do have a lot of uh, power on my Pyre. I think I'll just polyclaw the tank. The rest is dead anyway, right? So just polyclaw that... And uh, I'll receive some damage, yes, but it will be dead. Maybe I will not actually receive any damage. It's dazed 6. God damn. Well. So, this thing will go there. This thing will go there. And I also can play one Echoes of the Past. To buff, like, one of those, I guess. Well, let's buff the quick one. Maybe actually get some damage on my main guy. Why do you receive damage? Oh, extinguish. Oh, I see. Well, um... Hmm. I don't know. Just get more damage there. Well, you're alive. That's good. 
Triggers when a unit on this floor dies, apply armor 15 to their units. Well... Well... Restoration detonation? Bam. Double echo infusion, for example. Echo break. Well, it shouldn't really matter. I guess let's just play this thing, then uh, Restoration Detonation. Then I will be able to play one Echo Infusion, but not more than that. So, this thing is supposed to go on the same floor... No, this is supposed to be on the third floor, I think. What was the setup for the Hollow? For the Hollow, it was... Um, this thing... I don't have it yet. And then what? Like this thing, I think. Yeah, something, something. Not this thing. So this thing should go on the third floor, then. This thing. This thing should go on this floor. Oh, and uh, this thing is third floor as well. Like this. And one Echo Infusion. Cannot really play the next one. I don't have any echoes whatsoever, so I have to skip. Well. <laughs> well then. Definitely play echoes. Well, I can uh, play some animuses. That is relevant. Apply some buffs. Now, when I play the next one, I will draw something. Hope it's relevant. It might be relevant. Why are we dying? Why are we dying? So I just kill all of them with my first attack. And then, like, then what? I think my champion dies, yes. But... My, like, Animus doesn't really have to die. I think this is good enough. We will be able to kill it. Yes, like this. Like, my champion will die, that is true. Wasn't able to uh, make it survive. I'll actually, I think, I will just get the pulley. And then next turn I'll be able to do something about this. I'll have to set up my holo then on this floor. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay. So this thing goes away. I don't really want to deal with that. Or this thing. They're both unpleasant. Where is my pulley? It's either this or that. Either of them, really. Maybe this one? Seems to be a bit... A bit more unpleasant. Get another first of kin thing. Get the hollow. And just start stacking region. Then, oh, I could have actually even went for some echoes. Root seeds, root seeds, proclamation. Echo break. Why are we dying? Currently. Oh, because we don't have quick. I see. That is indeed a problem. Well, now we survive. That was a sloppy fight from me. That's a very sloppy fight. Well then. Soul Crushing Guild is good. It's only on one unit though. So, yes, okay. So, first of all, this thing should be dazed. I need to move it to the back, that's the idea. Then I can actually use the restoration detonation, kill the another thing, and then we'll survive. That is good. Cannot really even use this. I'll need to heal. This needs to happen. And then what? Proclamation. Yeah, 
to get a uh, hit less than that. I don't really want to get hit there, so makes sense. And then I guess just root seeds. Then like... I think one Echo Infusion still makes sense. I do want echo Echoes of the Past, though. Well, one Echo Infusion and one Echoes of the Past. Okay. Brief Respite. Well, can't really do much. Just use some buffs. So that doesn't do anything, right? Can do another Echo Infusion, and that's about it. Okay. Okay, it's that. Whew. Okay, okay. Very sloppy fight from me. Shouldn't have let my champion die. And honestly, even when I let my champion die, maybe it would have been better to set the hollow on the second floor, as I've planned. Well, maybe not. No, maybe that was fine. Maybe that actually, that adjustment was okay. But yeah, the champion part is uh, not good though. Shouldn't have let that happen. Well, regardless, this uh, this fight is done pretty much. I think. Okay. A lot of gold and some packs. That's a lot of gold. Restore 10 health to unit and descend it. I don't really want to use it on my friendly units. Uh, I have a pretty, like, straightforward setup at this point. I don't really need it. Preserved thorns. Infused consume at 3 sting spells to your hand. I don't think so. I don't really want to spam spells with this deck. Not currently. I don't really get anything from it. I think it's just a skip. I have too many cards already. Consume gain mana per echo. I don't need mana. This is good though. This is also good. Broken Memories is good. Um, Echoes of the Past is decent. But in fact... It's tough to say which one is better. I think uh, Broken Memories makes it a bit more consistent. But not necessarily, because I, if I don't have my Polyclaw, for example, it doesn't really do much. This is just as is, it's already plus 6 damage. Which is kinda decent. You know what, I like this. I like this. I think I can use it uh, in a good way. So, we get the trinkets regardless. Healing, useless, some small amount of gold, and units forge. That is good. Or, duplicate... Spells Forge and Card Removal. I actually do not really need Units Forge. Um, there is one upgrade slot on my steward. And yes, I could get an artifact that uh, would give me more upgrade slots. But the same could be true about spells as well. So maybe I should go for spells instead. I think it's right. I think it's right. Duplicate as well. Duplicate is definitely good. I'm not even sure what I would be duplicating, but it is good for sure. Okay. So what do we have in terms of artifacts? Oh, when you summon the second unit during a turn, gain three mana. I don't really need it though. Before each battle, set pyre health to 50. <laughs> if this reduces pyre health, gain three gold for each health lost. How much gold is this? 90... So it's 270 gold. I mean, this does translate into damage, and then I can heal, but I think it's not a good idea overall. This is this will happen probably. This will happen probably. Replay the consume cards. It's not even that I needed that much though, but maybe. What about Divine Temple? Start with some spell. Do I need to start with some spells? Polyclaw, maybe. It is pretty good. 
and then it will go into my consume pile for sure, right? Uh, into my consumed pile, and then I would be able to return it at any point with my mm, what is the name? Broken memories. So that is my plan B if I don't draw well, right? That is good. That is good. And minus two cost. Well, we'll uh, we'll think about that. So what do we start with? <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Can replay just something? Just keep replaying it over and over. Echoes of the past. And then just do minus cost. Sounds questionable. Echo infusion. Keep replaying that. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This is this is tough. This is tough. I think I will go for intrinsic on on pulley, on pulley claw. Yeah, I would like to have it. Um, the idea is I would play it immediately. Like, regardless, even if there is nothing really to play it on, I will still play it anyway. Just to have it in my consume pile, to be able to return it at some point later with broken memories. Yeah. There are some problems with this plan, but... It is the best intrinsic that I can do. Because bouncing echoes, yeah. I can, like, get it earlier. Just to get some infused on my cards, on my starting hand, but I don't really care about Echoes that much. Not that much. Just get Polyclaw, I think. Start with that. Minus two cost on what? On Echoes, probably. I do want to spam them a bit, so that is relevant. And Sacrifice. I cannot really sacrifice anything, so skip on that. Yeah, I don't think so. I can't really sacrifice. They just give minus 15 attack if I sacrifice them. So it's not really very good. Have to skip this one. Then what? Duplicate? Or let's go for the artifacts first. Artifacts. So I'm skipping this thing. I'm not buying that. I'm buying, I think, this. Though I have enough mana though. I'm not even sure if I want more mana. I have enough mana. Why would I need more? It's kind of pointless right now. I'm not doing anything with it. <laughs> like, I really have enough. Uh... And do I want this? Spell cards with consume have 50% chance to be discarded instead. Uh... It's not even clear if it's good, honestly. It's good for some of my cards, but really I would like them to be done with. I don't want them to be discarded. I want them gone. I don't really want to keep drawing like those echo breaks or uh, stuff like that, right? I actually, I actually think this is a full skip. This is a full reroll, I think. This is irrelevant. This just never helps. And this is uh, just bad, I think. And scales is also actively harmful, so I think it's a skip, it's a reroll. At the start of battle, summon four random units from your deck on the middle floor, that's horrible. Blight and Scourges cost zero, I'm buying this. There's no reason not to. That actually, uh, that was the reason, okay, that was a mistake then. Uh, that was definitely the reason for why I should, uh, should have bought the plus mana stuff. It's not that important, because I can heal my Pyre anyway. But this is, yeah, this is good, obviously. At start of turn, add a Vine Grasp spell with Purge to your hand. So deal 3 damage, move that unit to the front. And then Purge it forever. Well, that's... I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Sounds good. And this is uh, just harmful, so let's not do that. Now, next thing is... Forge of Spells. Minus one spell cost on Echoes, probably. That sounds good. Yeah. Just to be able to spam it a bit better. Plus ten magic power. Doesn't do anything. 
can, like, I, I will still use it. It's still somewhat relevant. Maybe just on Restoration Detonation. Yeah, okay. That is actually relevant. A bit more healing, a bit more damage, potentially. Okay. And hold over. So I can keep replaying something. That's the idea. I think it's just root seeds then. That's actually really good. That is really good. Much better than it looks like. Because uh, I will also get infused stuff. I'll, I'll get echoes from it. So my echoes of the past will be stronger the next time I play them. So this holdover is actually really good. I'll just keep replaying those root seeds and that would be... That would work pretty nice. Okay. Well. <laughs> um, minus one mana on... Healing, I guess, to make it free. Other stuff is consumed anyway, so just get healing cheaper. I might as well just get some damage. It's not that relevant, but I might as well. This gold doesn't do much. It, like, makes my pyre a bit stronger because of this thing. But it's not really that relevant, whatever. And permafrost, so I can just keep something with me. Until I need to play it. Soul Crushing Guild? That's good. That's good. I like that. So I just keep uh, guilt with me until I really need it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I can see the point. Or healing. Healing is also good. But guilt is like... Guilt is relevant for the boss fights as well. So I like that. I can do a lot of damage if, uh, if the boss is dazed. And now the last question is... Oh, there is also duplicate. Forgot about that, by the way. What do I duplicate? Oh my god, that's a, that's a question. You know what? I probably should duplicate one of my holdover root seeds. I can get so many echoes by doing that. That's my way to win, actually. No, but seriously, though. I can just get so many of them. Can also, like, uh, get a Bully Claw, second one. Can also double one of my first of kin animuses. I don't know, honestly. I think duplicating root seeds is really good. This thing. It's a lot of attack, and uh, I think as long as I'm not too hasty, and I'm just being careful about my placements, and uh, make sure that my units survive, I just cannot lose with that. I just need to make sure my champion survives specifically. So, yeah, I'll do this. Duplicate this thing. Get rid of... I should get rid of something. Yes. I'm not sure of what, I think. I don't see anything bad, though. This is all good. No, but seriously. This is all good. I think this Animus of Will is irrelevant. It will never come into play, really. I can play it, but what's the point? Like, it just... It, it doesn't do anything. I think I only have two fighting floors. The third floor is pretty much irrelevant. So I might as well just get rid of this. It cannot get stronger anymore, right? So yeah, I think this is just gone. At least this Animus might actually fight. But this is irrelevant. So get rid of that. And then maybe just Echoes one of them. Just so that, so that it doesn't clutter the hand. I don't really care about Infused that much. It feels wrong, but... I have Infused Synergy for sure. But the thing is, though... The thing is, like, if I can get to my Synergies, I'll probably win at that point anyway. I just need to get to them. And this thing might just prevent me from getting my... You know... Animuses that I would like to place with my champion and stuff like that. And that is much more important. Yeah, but this is a consumed card as well. Oh. I hate that. Yeah, but I think this has to go. I hate that. I think this does... Uh, this increases my chances though. Very slightly, but I think it does. 
Okay, and I think that's it. I can, like, card remove something else, but I think this is no... I think this is good enough at this point. Okay, let's just go. Sacrifices, no. Let's go. Okay, well. We'll remove half of any buff and debuff effect stacks. Do I even have any? Not sure. Well, something died, I think. Whatever. So get the champion. And we actually do get one Animus right now. That's good. Um, can Polyclaw. I mean, that's why it's there. I should actually Polyclaw one of them. Definitely invigorating solution. That is a train steward. Oh, that's that's the giant one. Giant one goes to the floor number three. Then we pulley claw this thing and let the pie kill it. Cannot really do echo infusion, unfortunately. Don't have any echoes. Can do random vine grasp on the boss, I suppose. And that's it. Okay. Okay, well, you will die. What about you? Another first of kin animus. That's good. Hollow there. Actually, I should have used bounding echoes. No, no, no. That's That was correct. That was the correct order. Then we play hollow. Then we play this thing. So quick one should be used with the hollow. And this is also a hollow thing, which will be played there as well. So I'll just keep this Soul Crushing Guild for now. I can actually use it immediately on the boss, but why? I don't really think it does anything. Okay, and then I can heal. Um... It's either I heal those guys, or I can heal there. It's very likely that I will draw one of my Echoes soon. So I do actually want to stack some more Echoes on this floor. So I think it's this floor, in fact. Just because of the Infused. And then Soul Crushing Guild is... Uh, just, just keep it, just keep it. That's why I got my Frozen there. That's the exact reason, so... Don't really need to do anything with that. Restoration detonation. No. Wildwood sap is really good. So, apply that. That's actually a question, if it, even if I want to apply it or not. Because I also could just do it there and get plus 5 damage for both of my creatures because of the consume. But okay, okay, I will apply it to this thing. Sure. So I can use one Echoes. Let's do the root seeds, first of all. Then I guess restoration detonation. Get a card draw after that. Bam. Okay, root seeds again. Vine grasp or something. Uh echo break, and then I'll be able to play one echo. And just buff it a lot. That's the idea. Okay. And yeah, skip. Alright. Well, broken memories. I can return something and play it immediately right now if I want to. Do I want to? I don't really want... I can uh, get bounding echoes. I have Echoes of the Past, by the way, so I can actually stack some stuff right now. Okay, I kinda like the idea. So, let's do that. That's a lot of damage. So I just play that, I return... Bounding Echoes, and I, I'll just play some other things. I should've played one of the Root Seeds before that. 
That was a mistake. I'll need to play Echo Break now. And I cannot play Root Seeds now because um, I'll just draw that instead of the thing that I just returned. And the problem is they are already infused, so actually applying Infuse to them doesn't even do anything. That was just bad. That was just a bad play, let's be real. Okay, whatever. Just do the Vine Grasp. Kill this thing. Didn't even need to kill it anyway. It, it would be dead regardless. Well, at least I can get like plus 5 damage on my animuses because of uh, consume. Right? That was the plan, clearly. Get root seeds. Mm, proclamation. It does some damage, but I don't really need to do damage. Just do echoes. And that's it. Skip this thing. Cannot do proclamation. Yeah, whatever. Just skip. Oh yeah, what do we have? A lot of things and echoes by the end of it again. Well, that's pretty normal, yeah. That's pretty normally how it goes. So... So, if I start with Root Seeds, then I'll be able to play one more Root Seeds when I play three of them. Or not. Dead weight? Did I just not play my holdover stuff? Quickly enough? Wait, what? When played, this card is placed on top of your draw pile next turn. Why did it go into my discard pile? Wait, what? Okay, well, whatever. Uh, Restoration Intonation. Maybe even there, in fact. Because, uh, you know, no really need, uh, no, no need to heal my champion for now. Um, so, I would like to get some Echo Infusion. I do want some HP. I'm ready to sacrifice some Echoes for that. And then just buff. Done. Okay, that's a lot of cards. Root Seeds. Root Seeds. Root Seeds. Restoration Detonation, I suppose. I don't even need it there. Just more Root Seeds. Healing. Like healing there, I suppose. Can do Restoration Detonation on this floor. Get some damage onto Seraph as well. And then what? I don't need Proclamation. So just do double Echo Infusion. I I don't think it can like... It multi-strikes, yes. But it doesn't have like any sweeps, right? So I don't need to like buff the HP for my animuses. You know what? I will do that anyway. Just in case. Because I don't know, man. Just in case. Something like this. Skip. So this thing has spikes. Not a big fan of that. Well, we'll manage. Root seeds. Root seeds. Root seeds. Proclamation. Just kills it. That is decent. Allows me to avoid some spikes damage. I lose one... Uh, Echo charge on that, which is whatever. Who cares? That's a decent amount of damage on the boss, by the way. So, do healing just for one more echo charge. Instead of the second floor. Uh, restoration detonation there, though. Just for buff. And then what? More HP? Yes, more HP. Even more HP. Echoes 1, Echoes 2. And maybe I should daze. No, 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 no. Just skip. I will need the uh, three charges, by the way, next turn for the boss. <laughs> That's a bit of an overkill, though. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Soul Crushing Guild. 
Uh, I don't know. Like... Uh, restriction detonation on this thing. Vine grasp. Echoes. Echoes. And actually, I could have gotten one more echo charge even. Okay, and just just kill it. Just destroy it. Just destroy it. Well then. And let's go for the last divinity then. Okay, okay. So. Some bad news. The bad news is I don't actually have... I'm not sure if I'll be able to make my champion survive. Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. I think I'm just skipping turn uh, floor one. Oh, because uh, the problem is floor one is I only have two fighting floors anyway, right? I have my champion floor and then I have my Awoken Hollow floor. And third floor is like irrelevant anyway. And the problem is if I go there, I'll just receive a lot of damage right now. Well, no, that's not necessarily true. No, you know what? No, that's fine. Here's what I will do. I will just play my champion. Then I want to actually get rid of this thing. Because it will deal damage on death. And I don't really want that. So I will actually pull claw it out of there. Let it just fight with the pyre. That's fine with me. Then those things... Well, I can... Might as well just play it. Yes. There is no reason not to. Might as well play that. If I play this thing, though, it will just die. Oh, okay, that's good, that's good. This thing is good. Okay, well, root seeds then. I can play this, but there it will just die. So I'll have to wait. Vine grasp? I have to skip. Yeah, this is a skip. Okay. What do we have? Another first of kin. Why do I uh, receive damage? Spikes. Because of spikes. I see. I can proclamation though. This thing. This thing is dead. It, okay, it's fine. It's fine. So, first of kin gets played, right? Do I have maybe bottles or something? To get, like, infused stuff? No, I don't have anything. So, play the first of Ken, Animus of Will. Then we do Echo Break on the Frontliner. In fact, I also can use Vine Grasp to move anything I want to the front, which is good. That is actually what I should do. Then I use Proclamation. The spiked thing is dead. And then we just... Then we just go in, that's it. I don't really need to do anything else. They're dead, right? Yes, I think so. So just echo break the... Divinity, I suppose? I cannot play any of those yet. So just echoes of the past, I guess, and that's it. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Can I do anything? I do have Soul Crushing Guild if I really need to. I can play it. That's good. So what is happening? Spikes are happening. Spikes are happening, I see. That's a problem. I can get dazed on one of those and uh, get it to the back. But that doesn't really save me, though. Why does my frontliner die? Okay, well, first of all, let's play the hollow. Mm, then I will need some root seeds, I think, regardless, right? And let's draw, first of all. See how that goes. 
I'll probably need as much damage as I can. Oh, I don't know, actually. 170. Can I kill it in 4 hits? Well, also, 35 damage from my champion will go before that. Will go in. So, it's uh, 135. A bit more damage I do need, yes. But that's about it. I don't really need more. Well, let's use one more. Draw something. Broken memories. I can't use it anyway. I can't use it, but I might as well just... Use it right now to get plus 5 damage. Pulley Claw, I think. But I will not be able to use it, that's the problem. Okay, but now they survive because of that damage. That's good. Now... I... I should play Soul Crushing Guild. Now the question is, what do I do with Echo Break? This thing will just die. But I think I should kill one of those. Oh, this thing gives spikes! Oh! Oh, well, that's simple then. Okay, well, that was easy. In fact, yeah, okay. And then I can just, um... I thought they had spikes by default, but no, that's not the case. Well then, well then, I don't even have to do Soul Crushing Guild then. I'm alive for now, so... Here's the problem, I'm not sure if, uh... Oh, okay, so it has purified the Divinity. Removes all damaging debuffs from this unit at the end of turn, so I cannot really... I cannot apply Daze to it, then probably I should just apply Daze to this thing. To save some HP at least on it, right? On its attack. And then I will have my Pulley Claw on the next turn. And then even if I don't get any HP things, any healing, then I should be able to survive because Divinity will not be able to kill my champion. And as long as I kill everything else, or deal with everything else, I should survive for one more turn. So I'll have several chances to draw any of my healing stuff. That's the idea. So skip for now. Okay, what do we have? Some healing, that's good. Can do healing. Uh, can do pulley claw. Okay, first of all, I will be doing healing, restoration detonation, this will be happening, so let's kill that thing, so I'm not dead, my champion is not dead, that's good, I can draw something, there is no reason not to, so I might as well just use root seeds and see what we get, root seeds 1, root seeds 2, Bounding Echoes, might as well just use it, why not, get some damage. Why are you not dead yet? Wait, what is happening? Are you serious? This is not enough damage? Okay. Yeah, actually, actually there is not enough damage, that's crazy. I can pull it, claw it. Can I kill it? I think so. So, the Pyre is uh, 140, it will need like 8 turns to kill it. Well, 9 turns, 9 attacks. It will be dead in 9 attacks. And 3 more because of Dazed, because it applies Dazed 3. I'm a bit, I'm a bit scared though, that something goes wrong. I should've um, pulled the Frontliner instead. And then uh, done the Restoration Detonation on this thing instead. I think it's not necessary. I think I'll just do regen. I'll need some healing on uh, this thing though. No, I'll do full heal next turn. I will draw my healing, so I don't actually need to do anything. I'll just do regen on this thing. Do the solution. Do the vine grasp. And then just do echoes on this thing, I guess. Well, actually, 
You know, yeah, I definitely should just do buffs on the multi-strike thing, on the one thing that has more multi-strike. Like, for some reason, I just approached them in the same way before, and that is not correct. This one is clearly better to buff. So do that. And skip. Yeah, skip. Okay, play the weight of contrition. All right, let, let me see that first. What is happening? Nothing. I'm just killing them. That is what is happening. Good to know. What about those animuses? Can just play them. This one, for example. Then, uh... Does it matter? What do I play first? Don't think so. Root seeds, root seeds, draw something, can play one more thing. That is actually for this floor, but it will just die. Yes, but I should let it die. I should let it die. I should have done that before. I don't need it. I'll just keep drawing it until it dies, so just let it die. Be over. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, healing definitely. But before that, though, buffs... Kill something, might as well just do more damage onto... Well, I will use Proclamation. I don't think I'm using Soul Crushing Guild, so just Proclamation the frontline thing. Then use Echo Break, I suppose. I don't know if that was, like, enough in terms of breakpoints. If that did anything, but whatever. Play this thing. And play some Echo Infusions as well. And healing. Okay. Should have probably buffed my Animuses, actually. That might be a mistake. Because I don't know what he will summon next, and uh, it might be a problem. If something bad happens. Okay, well, you go in. Root seeds, root seeds. Root seeds, root seeds. Should restoration detonation for sure. Oh, this thing is dead. I need to heal this thing, actually. Can also pulley. Should pulley the... Least pleasant thing, which is this one. This is stealthed. What do you do? Other friendly units get uh, multi-strike. That is unpleasant. Might as well just get rid of that, actually. Don't like it much. Okay. Play the Vengeful Shard. Play the Restoration Detonation there, actually. Vine Grasp. There's no reason to play it. No, I have to. But should be on the next floor, probably. Because this thing gets buffed for every spell I play. Yeah. For every spell gets 10 armor. Okay, and I do want my buff as well. So do this. Well then, let's go. Okay, well, who are you? Spell shield, when dies, uh, adds a vengeful shard. It also sweeps, but it will die before it can do anything, so who cares. So play the vengeful shard. Get a lot of root seeds in. Echo infusion, probably yes, but let's see first. I think I will do Restoration Detonation on this floor now, because I will get a full heal next, and I'll just apply it on my tank on the second floor. And he will survive for now, so this is okay, right? I'll just do this. Get some damage there. More root seeds. And then I can do double Echoes of the Past, but probably better to do some Infusion before that. Infusion, infusion. 
Echoes. Echoes. Go. The interesting thing about this is um, the way it works currently, right? If I buff things with spells specifically, and by the way, the same is true about Cultivate, only one thing gets buffed. So there is not much point in having two of them. Like it would be the same thing pretty much if I only had one. So I think the initial plan of going for plus two capacity is wrong, actually. If I am aiming for this kind of deck, it just doesn't do enough. Anyway, skip. Okay, well. Play this thing. Um, I should have buffed my animuses again previously, on the previous turn. Oh, definitely proclamation. <laughs> Proclamation will happen, but for now, let's do some buffs. Now, let's play Proclamation, because I need to get rid of spikes. Okay. And then definitely full heal there. And just buff more, buff more. Buff even more, buff even more. Done. Okay, well, uh... Why is it not over? So waves remaining one, it doesn't become relentless. So I can just keep playing. What is the point then of uh, having, like, counter for waves remaining? Oh, because maybe just enemies stop spawning. No way, is that it? And what? A a and, it and it doesn't become relentless? Wait, what? Wait, what will happen? Okay, well, I, I guess I will see, because I'm pretty sure I will not be able to, uh, kill him right now. So I will see, I will see what's gonna happen then. I do want some Echo Infusions, for sure. I'm not actually confident about surviving this, so let's just do some buffs. And just get some Echoes. Can add some guilt as well, but let's just see what happens. So that's just it? That's very weird to me. Oh, so it becomes relentless after that. Okay, wait, wait. So it's relentless now. Now it's relentless. It was just like one more wave. That was previously the last turn. And now it's relentless. And now we need to kill it. Well then. Let's do so. <laughs> I don't see a problem with that. Something like this. Okay. Oh, it starts with a uh, floor 2. Still was able to kill it before it killed anything else, though. So, okay. Well, it got dicey in the middle of it. There were some issues. But, um... Was able to get through it. I definitely do underestimate at this point how difficult it might get. Like, uh... They do a lot of damage. You do actually need to stack a strong floor that would just be able to deal with the uh, boss itself. Like, the boss can be very nasty. And you need a lot of HP and, uh, and attack to get through it. So yeah, that might be a problem, but well. It was a win, after all. So Covenant rank 5. Minor battles now have additional enemies. Sh sure, sure. Uh, stamps and stuff like that, why not? Shattered Shell, Sweep, Slay, plus 3 attack. So Slay triggers after dealing a killing blow. So when it kills stuff, it gets plus 3 attack. Mm. That is, um... That is decent. If you can get quick on it, that might be pretty good. Mm, yeah. I don't know. It's okay-ish. Okay, she definitely can use it. Pyre Girl, consume. So spell, zero mana. Consume, draw minus two next turn. And then plus one mana per turn for the rest of battle. Uh, okay, okay. Can see that working as well. 
A Woken's Rail Spike. Well, I think I saw it before, no? Consume, draw X amount of cards and apply minus one mana to those cards. So a way to transfer, to um, transform your mana into draw. That is very reasonable. For a, for a deck like mine, for example, that would be quite good, actually. So yeah, yeah, this is good, this is good. Petrified Crucible. Spikes deal plus one damage per stack. Doubles the effectiveness of them pretty much, right? Okay. And one level for Wormkin as well. Keeper of Echoes. Two floor capacity, two mana. Inspire, apply plus one attack and plus one health to friendly units. And Inspire is... Uh, triggers when you gain Echoes. So, th you see the stuff like that is what you need when you, like, go for more floor capacity, right? Just some stuff that will uh, buff all of your units. That's the idea. Or, or a specific unit when you do something. Like, the that's what you want to go for, the setup that you want when you um, increase the floor capacity. Just stacking, like, more damaging units, it doesn't really do much if you buff them, if you scale them with spells. Because it's still single target, so it will still be one unit, or should be one unit, that you are stacking it on. So, yeah. But yeah, okay, that's decent. Unearth remains. Consume, gain one empty slot for echoes, and then gain one echo as well. Yeah, that's good. Especially if you have some consume synergies and you can just keep replaying it. Yeah, oh yeah. Alright, and that also should give me my... Oh, it's, on a, it's on a Wormkin page. Yeah, so got my mark as well for the victory with Awoken and Wormkin. And well, that will be it for this run. And uh, for now, thanks for watching, and we'll continue in the next one.